budget committee schedule and content and organization. So here we have on the monitor the budget committee's meeting schedule. And before I begin, are there any questions or anything on this or things needing clarification? The date of the budget committee public hearing? Yes. As you can see, the public hearing is scheduled for January 15. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Now, I know there was some discussion at the, at the selectmen's meeting last night on this, uh, and that was really related to the public hearing snow dates. And I've gotten a lot of um, questions about this on the side, which I haven't addressed because it's like minutia. But the bottom line is this. We can call a public hearing on the 15th. That's the final day for calling a public hearing. If we need to uh, continue the hearing to a time and date and location specific, we can do so at that hearing. And we don't have to send out a new two-week notice. So the thinking was, as I explained way back in May, that we have a public hearing on the 15th. If it snows or we have a blizzard, then what we're going to have is a problem. So we need to have a, uh, a quorum of people come in here so that we can continue the hearing until a snow date. Okay? So how do they get in here if it's a blizzard? And that's where Mike Pluck comes in. He's got heavy equipment. And he, <laughs> <laughs> and he has agreed to pick up a quorum of members to come in, convene the meeting, and then continue it to a date specified. The reason there are two snow dates in here is because we don't know what the weather forecast will be at that time, but we will on the 15th and we can then pick one of those two dates as the best date to continue on, okay? Hopefully we won't have to use them at all, okay? So, any, anything else on public hearing? Okay, great. All right, uh, if you are, on to the, uh, the schedule. Um, I did uh, ask if there was anything missing or whatever, and it turns out as I was reflecting on it in my meditations, I discovered that we don't have insurance in here. Interesting. And we also don't have capital outlay in here, I might add, as well. So um, we need to fit them in somewhere. And also, uh, in speaking with Regina, who has gone recently, that's why she wasn't here at last week's meeting, she went to, the, uh, to an NHMA conference, uh, two-day conference in Manchester, I believe it was. And uh, she got a lot of material there which she would like to present to the Budget Committee. And I thought it appropriate, since the NHMA dues that we pay is actually paid under the insurance line item. I know that sounds like an oddity, but I can explain why it is later if you want. Uh, I thought it was probably most appropriate for Regina to do a presentation on NHMA conference when we deal with the insurance. Is there any problem with that, guys? Okay, nope. great. So, go ahead. Where are you going to put the insurance? Well, that's, that's the next question. All right. um, as you can see right now, we've got uh, on November 28th, we've got a considerable number there and that's probably not room for much more. Mm -hmm. And it's possible because these ones on the 6th, the items on the 28th and the 6th were once all in one meeting. That's where they were last year. Yeah. I subsequently split them, up, split them up a little bit because I had gotten feedback from various members that they planned on drill, doing a deep drill down on some of these topics. So I split it into two meetings so there'd be enough time for people to express their, their views and questions. Um, we could possibly throw it on to uh, the 6th, that might make sense. So we could put it on to the 18th as well because the likelihood of us having town money warrant articles on December 18th is pretty small. So I think Regina would probably have to have a clean meeting on that. Yeah, that would be fine by me. Um, the any thoughts on anybody else? Putting it on the uh, 18th? Sounds fine. Okay, everybody? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, so both of those items and I guess we'll put in uh, capital outlay on that as well, huh? I have uh, on the um, sixth, I have the, the all the town funds. I spoke with Chris Christy this uh, this afternoon and she acknowledged that she'll be producing the, that list of funds for us. And also the fixed assets, as you know, it was a bit topical in the previous meeting that Christy and I need to meet and discuss the overall of that. Uh, 
and Christy acknowledged that we have yet to schedule that for her and I to do, but we will do it. So that's uh, pretty much the status on that. So um, December 18 for those two items or three items now. Okay. Uh, any other questions or thoughts or rearrangements of our schedule? Great.